Hello, 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 Eagle Nation. This is your boy coming at you guys with something brand new at this particular time. Um, it's in this box here, and it came um, this past weekend. Actually, it came Sunday. Um, I didn't think that FedEx delivered packages on a Sunday, so this is kind of a quite surprise to me. I was actually was expecting to get the gift sometime this week, Monday, today, or maybe sometime close to the week. I thought it would have got it, but it came in on the first day of the week, which was a Sunday afternoon. I happened to have been home when it got here. And so without further ado, uh, before I get into this um, unboxing of this package right here, um, I'm gonna give you some, give you guys some few updates first and foremost. Um, if you haven't heard uh, this afternoon or might be earlier this morning, the um, Detroit Lions have hired former Eagles defensive back coach Corey Uden as the new defensive coordinator. Now, from what I have heard, he was a defensive back coach or an assistant for the, the New England Patriots around a time that Matt uh, Patrice was the um, assistant as well as both guys were assistants at that time, the defensive assistants, if you will. Um, so that means that Corey Hidden had three Super Bowl rings. He won a ring or two with the Patriots, and he won a ring with the Broncos, and he recently won a ring with the Philadelphia Eagles two years ago. So, so he got three or four Super Bowl championship rings as an assistant via defensive back coach. And now, he gone over to the Detroit Lions as the defensive coordinator. Um, also on the NFL front, the Eagles, I mean, not the Eagles, but the, the Jacksonville Jaguars has fired or have released John DeFilippillo. I think that's his name, John DeFilippillo. He used to be the Eagles um, offensive coordinator. No, I'm sorry, Eagles um, quarterback coach. That's what he was. He, he, he was the quarterback coach for the Philadelphia Eagles when the Eagles won the Super Bowl two years ago. Then he left. The Eagles went to the Minnesota Vikings to be their defensive co I mean, for to be their offensive coordinator when he was over there for a year. They let him go, and he went up going to the um, Jacksonville Jaguars. And he, he was a defensive. He was offensive coordinator for Jacksonville Jaguars. I don't know why I'm starting saying defensive coordinator. I guess Corey you didn't fit in my mind, but anyway. Now, now, since he had been released from Jacksonville, there's a good chance that he could roll over back to the Philadelphia Eagles as an offensive coordinator or maybe a quarterback coach because the Eagles are still are looking for a wide receiver coach, an offensive coordinator, and maybe a quarterback coach depending on who you ride with first. But anyway, as you can see, that's my news update that I had to talk to you guys today before I got the got to unboxing this package. Once again, I got my gloves on, put them on for this special edition. And I have to mention, I always carry my lucky number one knife, as you can see. This life, this knife has done a lot of unboxing and unpackaging uh, packages. So without any further ado, let me go ahead and get this open up for you guys at this particular time. Um, here we go. Like I said, that was the news update for um, the NFL front and for concerning with the Eagles or the NFL for that matter. So without further ado, oh, you know what? Now, in this box is the... The NFC East Philadelphia Eagles Championship hat. Um, the, the 940 available. This is the um, 100th anniversary, as you can see there. And it's the snap on, so that means that it's able to fit any um, in the head, no matter what size. NFL team logo right there, the sticker, and there's the 2019. Right through the side there. Oh my God, this hat is magnificent. I hate that it's had that bow in it. I, I'm not usually good at wearing hat with the bow, but you know this is definitely spectacular. 
and it's definitely embroidered into the hat as you can see the hat is made of some kind of material I'm not exactly what kind of material that is but um okay it's a cloth material it has, it has, it's actually made of cloth i thought when it was on uh, snap on it would have the it, the back end of the hat would have the holes in it like most hats does so i thought that's what it would be but apparently that's not the case as you can see at the nfl 100 anniversary logo there and there the um new era logo right there like i said before and there is the nfl holographic embryum right there um uh, this is actually a wonderful hat um i have never have and, and i never had any nfc e championship hats the eagles have won four or five NFC East hats. This is have to be the fourth or fifth one. So put that to the side right quick. And then last but not least, without further ado, is the NFC East um, shirt right there. Um, the East is not enough. Um, unfortunately, the Eagles have been knocked out of the playoff by the Seattle Seahawks. I'm, I'm not quite sure how many times I can stress that issue because of the um, penalty that should have been called on JV and Clowney for that so-called tackle, hammer the helmet hit that he wasn't called for, and the NFL is saying that the play was non-callable, which means that they considered a legal hit. And and a lot of Eagle fans out there, and some of you, some of you Eagle fans out there saying that the hat was the hit was legal and some of you saying that it wasn't i'm one of the guys that say that it wasn't because from what i've seen i mean when you tackle a player I, I, i've always had thought that you leave with your shoulders or you tackle with your hands you don't you don't use your helmet to helmet to hit an, another player and knock them out the game and that what happened to carson wentz he had even though he got into the playoffs he had playoff experience he just wasn't able to finish the game like he wanted to because of that illegal knockout hit that Javion Clowney hit him with and wasn't called for in the first place. But anyway, enough of that. Um, as you can see, the East is not enough. That would say it's there. And it had the 100th anniversary embryum right there. Um, that once again, the NFL tags right there. Um, I would open this at open this up, but. It's so neatly wrapped, I'm not going to. And there they right there on the NFC regular division champion. So now, as you can see, there's the hat and there is the shirt. And um, I'm going to order another NFC E Conference Championship hat, meaning uh, NFC Conference Championship shirt. Maybe it has two, it depends. But um, the shirt that, that, that I've seen, it's nothing, it's nothing like this shirt. So that'll probably be the one I'm probably gonna wear. But since this came from uh, Eagle Pro Shop itself, I will not be uh, opening this up. Maybe in the near future, I probably will because there are a lot of shirts and hats that I have that I haven't worn because see my head, my head is too big to wear any kind of hat. So finding a fitted hat is kind of difficult for me to wear. But when I will find a fitted hat, hat you know, if the hat, or my head might look kind of different, you know what I'm saying, in that aspect. But anyway, this is my video for the um, NFC East Championship um, shirt and hat. I hope you like my video. Give me thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And most importantly, write down at the bottom of my um, the bottom of the screen and let me know what you think about the video. This is your boy signing out. Peace, one love.